So here we are again. <laughs> uh, some of you might be worried cooking on this video. You might think maybe it's clickbait. You're about to find out. It is really, really not. <laughs> so I've already made two videos on Pokemon and this is technically the third. A fact I'm sure a lot of you are already aware of. <laughs> but here's the thing. Yeah, I honestly have become very addicted to this game. Now hear me out here. Let me finish. Not only am I coming up on 70 hours of gameplay, that's about 10 hours a day, <laughs> I mean. Uh, round of applause, please, completed my Pokédex. I am a little bit too proud about it. It took a long time, but uh, it, it was really fun to do. Once I finally did complete my Pokédex, which involved collecting and trading over 400 Pokémon, I went straight to work naming, color coding, and sorting all of my Pokéboxes so that I could actually find the right Pokémon when I needed them. I've been breeding Pokémon like crazy the last few days, specifically Drippy, Droopy, Dreepy, trying to hatch a shiny, and I, uh, yeah, I, I have just about a few of those at this point. My god. Yeah, it just keeps, keeps going. I haven't got one yet. Oh my god. But it was a lot of fun. The very last entry into my Pokédex was... Do I look fat? Okay, I've been grinding at Pokemon the last three days. I can't tell you how much fun I had doing it. I have legit been addicted to this game the last few days trying to get this done. I saved this one for last. I never like evolving my Pikachu because, you know, I grew up with the show. Pikachu doesn't like to evolve. I put it off for as long as I could. I did it! Oh, that was underwhelming. Uh, well, that's it. That's cool. Okay. Kind of wish there was twice as many Pokemon, because I could keep going right now. There's a lot I want to talk about in this video, including what I've been doing for the last like 40 hours since I finished the main story, because there is just so many cool, unique, and fun things I've discovered about the game since then. But before we dive into that, so my first video I made, I, I didn't like it. And that's why I made the second video saying, I didn't like it. However, I wasn't wrong. I never apologized for the things I said in that video. However, between those two first videos I made, I still don't feel like I have made a good video on the game. Also, since it's literally been the only game I've played for over the last week now, I don't really have another video to make. So I'm gonna talk about Pokemon again. And oh boy, am I gonna talk about Pokemon. Here's everything I wrote for this video that I've only just discovered since I made the last videos. So, with all that said, I don't care. I don't care what you think. I don't care if you agree with me, disagree with me. We all have different opinions. Sue me. Subscribe and smash like on the video. Let's get started. Obviously, I had a lot of issues with Pokemon right away, and those issues still stand. Also, I'm sorry, but the story was a grind to get through. Here's the thing, though. Once you're finally free of the story, once that shackle has been unlatched, You're free to explore the world of Pokemon Sword and Shield to your heart's content. Never again will your rival stop you from walking every two steps to battle you. It's just you and your Pokemon and your hopes and dreams. And it's awesome. Oh, by the way, here's my final team I beat the game with. I think it's really cool that every time you load up the game, it uses this as the title screen. Also, I think it's hilarious that after all this hard work to get where he is today, my Greedon got Mike rozowski would Okay, here I come. on TV! And once you finish the game, there's almost no reason to ever go back to those linear routes between towns either. In fact, there's barely any reason to revisit any of the towns in the game. Other than maybe healing your Pokemon at the center and grabbing a few extra quick balls while you're there, or maybe popping into the clothing store and updating your outfit, or going to the cafe to do your daily battles and get candy items for your mystery evolutions. Other than those things, it's just wild area all the time, baby! Okay. In my own humble personal opinion, just the wild area in itself is greater than the entire game. It's almost a whole nother Pokemon game hidden in plain sight in amongst another Pokemon game. I know, I know, I gushed about the wild area in my first two videos, but I, I, I have so much more to say about it that I haven't talked about already. I mean, this is the entire game for me. It has everything I need, everything I wanted. Heck, I wish they would just throw a Pokemon Center smack bang in the middle of it so I'd never ever have to actually leave. It feels so alive with so much personality. It's kind of small, kind of samey, it's not exactly what I wanted, 
but they didn't have to do it. But they did, and it actually had a lot of work put into it and many clever ideas that were pulled off fantastically. In fact, a lot of the things that I love were things that I never even considered in a Pokemon game before. There's so much to do out here once you get in the swing of it. As long as you make sure you're connected to the internet and you have that internet turned on while you're in this wild area, which is a hassle in itself to... I don't even get me started. You'll see other players going about their game. You can talk to them, but it just gives you some basic text and they give you an item. The actual player has no idea you stop to talk to them. In fact, I question if it's actually real players at all. I'm not really sure how it works, but it's nice to think that they are real-time players going about their day just like you are. Picking up the same items as you, trying to catch the same Pokemon, breeding eggs, doing raids. Oh, and the raids are actually really cool too. I love that they kind of borrowed a lot of elements that made Pokemon Go so successful. Finding cool Pokemon in a raid, especially if you don't have it yet, and taking it down with some friends and trying to catch it is exhilarating. The tension in those last moments as the giant ball rocks back and forth is hype. Kim's been playing the game with me a lot. We'll be catching and battling together, and every time she finds a good raid, I'll join in and we'll take it down together. There are some big issues with the online, though, that they're trying to figure out, and it can ruin a lot of this fun. I can never get anyone to join my raids. I'm not sure what's going on with that at all. Kim always has people join hers and we're in the same freaking house. If I set up a surprise trade for some reason, then it'll connect me and I'll see what everyone's doing. But speaking of the surprise trades, while we're on them, they're fantastic. I love this element. So you can pick any of your crappy Pokemons or maybe a good one that you want to gift a lucky random player and you just set up a surprise trade. It'll start finding someone in the background while you play and then randomly it'll tell you, oh, success. You click a button and you see what you were given. And early on when I only had 100, 200 Pokemon, I kept getting ones I'd never had. Some really cool ones too. I must have filled at least 30 or 40 spots in my Pokedex this way. Just getting random cool Pokemon from people I don't know. Oh, and I know I mentioned in my other videos about how I just love seeing Pokemon in the wild. But I want to flesh that out a little bit more because I've really come to appreciate it even more for another reason. I complained about the lack of animations in battles. And of course, this, this is an issue and I still... I still don't like it. It's an issue that I don't feel like is too hard to address, but I have to give credit where credit is due. This issue is made up for in some other areas, like every Pokemon has their own unique animations and walking patterns and styles in the overworld. Sneasels will Naruto run towards you, Hippos will trudge around slowly, Growlithe will playfully jog towards you, Toxel freaking baby crawls up to you. This one is the best. Oh my gosh, he's adorable and my new favorite Pokemon, I swear to gosh, and wow! Oh, slow down, buddy! Hit the brakes! The fact that all these Pokemon have such unique, expressive animations in the overworld, it honestly makes up for the fact that they're so stale in battle. Because at least here, in the actual world, they feel like real-life Pokemon, and... I mean, I don't love it, but I'll take that trade-off. Oh, and I mentioned in this game they did a lot of things that I hadn't really considered before. And one of those things was just the fact that this is an online, ever-changing ecosystem of a Pokemon game. I'm so retro, I'm used to Pokemon games on my old school Game Boys that were just the game they were when it released. But Pokemon Sword and Shield, they can change what they want when they want, and they do it in a good way. Like right now, you can find the cool G-Max Butterfreeze and Fire Snakes in the raids. They're super hard to battle and take down, but if you manage to catch one, you get to look super cool in the future raids when you bust out your special OP boy. And then next week, I heard they're putting in like Snorlax into the G-Max raids. You can find him around your wild area. So there's like incentive there to keep checking and going back to the game to see what new Pokemon is gonna pop up. Now, as I said, I have never actually gone out of my way to complete a Pokedex before. Why did I do it? I literally got addicted to collecting these stupid monsters, and when I realized I was halfway there, I just kind of wanted to wrap it up. But I had so much fun doing it, because I didn't realize what kind of work went into completing a Pokedex. It's not just a matter of finding them all in the wild, catching them, and then leveling them up. In fact, there is so many different unique ways to not only get Pokemon, but also to evolve Pokemon. Um, so I'm going to turn it upside down right now and level them up. Here we go. He is evolving. Inkay is evolving. I'm not even kidding you. This is legit. You have to have your switch upside down. I'm going to do counterclockwise. This is, this is what you're going to need to do, okay? Uh, I'm going to do it for quite a bit here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Show it off. This is gonna work, I'm telling you. Yes! Oh, 
So while completing my Pokedex, you'd find me out riding my bike around the wild area, scanning the grass and skies for Pokemon I don't have, while running surprise trades in the background hoping to get sent something random I don't already have, while breeding a few eggs in my party of baby Pokemon I don't have yet, and battling the occasional strong spawn to experience and level up and involve the other Pokemon in my party. It was really just so much fun because there was always something going on while I was in the wild area. I was always getting some kind of new Pokemon. There's always the thrill of maybe Maybe one of these Pokemon you get could be a shiny. And that is a lot of the end game right there. <laughs> so once you finish your Pokedex, you can go and get a shiny charm, which pretty much doubles the chance of you finding a shiny. Oh, by the way, so I mentioned in my first video that I had come across a shiny Sneasel. No one really made a big deal about that at the time, but I feel like it should have been made a big deal about because I didn't know that baseline when you start the game, you have a 1 in 4,000 chance of coming across a shiny. Now there's things that you can do to bring that down. If you battle a Pokemon 500 times, it gets to like 1 in 600. If you have the shiny charm, it becomes 1 in 500. Then, if you want best odds at hatching a Pokemon, there's a trick where if you get a Pokemon from a different country that speaks a different language to whatever you're in, and you breed that with a Pokemon from your region, it'll have like a 1 in 600 or whatever chance of being a shiny. It's actually the easiest way of getting a shiny. And trust me, I know all about this and there's more to it too that I know all about because this has been my life for the last few days. Learning about all the ins and outs of Pokemon Sword and Shield and how to hatch shinies, how to get shinies, competitive Pokemon IVs. Like I am wrapped up in this bad boy. Like you thought I was joking. I am completely, I am, I am so far invested in this game. It's not even funny. <laughs> so right now, uh, as we speak, I have a, like a perfect, a perfect shiny ditto that someone was nice enough to send me uh, from Japan and I've been breeding that with my uh, Lucario which has like got amazing IV levels in the hopes of getting a like really good IV shiny Lucario. It's not going well. I'm, I, I'm having really bad luck and that's what's so crazy about it. So from doing all of this I've brought my luck up to 1 in 500 chance and I can't do it But I found on my very first Sneasel was a shiny what I was gonna say what are the odds But it's literally 1 in 4,000. You know what uh, for this next part I'm gonna be riding around in circles till I hatch the five eggs in my party Maybe maybe I'll get a shiny Lucario right now. We'll see. Okay, and the last last thing I want to mention is just a, a, a thank you um, look to you guys but also to Paul. <laughs> so when I was looking to trade a lot of the exclusives that I didn't have in my game, I put out a tweet. Paul came forward and he was like, hey, I can give you whatever, whatever, whatever it is you need. He traded me all the shield exclusives and we just kept talking about Pokemon and he was teaching me all this stuff about the shiny stuff over the day that we were trading. And then whenever he needed something from my game, I would trade it to him. When I got to the point where I had a bunch of stuff that needed evolution trades, we would trade back and forth to get each other's evolution trades. And over the three or four days that I've been invested in this game, we just kept trading and battling together and talking. And this is someone that I had never spoken to before. And we just had a really fun time playing Pokemon together. And I think that really did heighten my experience playing the game. I don't know, it sounds kind of lame, but it, it was kind of fun. And then, as like a thank you from him, once I'd finished my Pokedex and he finished his, he actually hatched like 430 friggin Toxels to get me a shiny Toxicity. He trained it up to level 100 and he gave it like the best stats and all of that. He IV'd it out, whatever it is to make it competitive, gave it the best moveset, named it beat em ups, and then messaged me saying, hey, I just have one more thing I need to trade. And I was like, okay, cool, I jumped on, and he sent that to me. And it was, it was just really nice. I mean, that, like, I have been trying to get a shiny now for days. He got one, I know how long that took, trained it up, and just gave it to me. I don't know, it's just really nice. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. I've just had so much fun playing this game since my videos. <laughs> I might actually live stream me shiny hunting. I actually haven't live streamed in a long, long time, so I think that would be fun. But you know what? I need to actually, I said I was gonna hatch those eggs. And I don't know, I've been doing this the whole time. I don't know what's taking so long. Here we go. Number one, if this isn't it, you have to smash like. Oh, look at that. It's not a shiny. Ah, oh, good, good. Well, you have to smash like now. Number two, if this isn't a shiny, you have to subscribe. Well, I guess you have to subscribe. Number three, if this isn't a shiny, you have to leave a comment down below. It can be anything, like bad luck on missing that shiny.
Oh, look at that. <sighs> Number four gets here. I so it's so defeating. <laughs> if this isn't a shiny, I don't know. I'm out of things for you to do. Hit the bell. You have to hit the bell. If this isn't a shiny, I'm deleting my channel. Well, bye. Three hours later. I'm never gonna get a shiny, and I really don't even care about it anymore. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> now I don't have to delete my channel!